Hello everybody, welcome to another review. This will be a kind of different review. This time we'll be testing all the security products that I've reviewed so far. That's Panda, Webroot, and a couple more. I think it's uh, one was Komodo, and I think the other one was... Um, yeah, whatever. So we'll be testing all these security products against a folder of malware. It won't be the usual leak test. We've got a folder of malware and we're going to scan it with all these and see how they compare and we'll see their detection ratios. So first we'll get started with Panda. As you can see, it's Panda Cloud Antivirus and I stopped it just to make sure that I can, you know, <laughs> copy the files. Other than that everything is fine. I'll show you before starting the test. So let's grab the files. There we go, I'm extracting the malware. Okay, so let's see how many we've got. We've got 38 files here. All of them are verified malware. None, none of false positives are malware, I'm pretty sure. And so what we're going to do is we're going to stat the antivirus back again. So let me show you. There you go, Panda Cloud. It uh, says everything's okay, it's the latest version. So, let's do a scan. So, I'll do a right click scan. Okay, so let me pause the video while it's scanning, and I'll be back with the results. So, see you guys then. Okay, so Panda just finished its scan, and it says it's neutralized 30 objects and not neutralized 9. I don't know what to do if not neutralized. I don't know whether maybe I should delete it myself. So what we're going to do is, let's close it here, but it's telling that scan has been completed correctly, so close it. So just to make sure, I'll do another scan and see if it tells me anything again. If it does, okay, it tells me. Again. So it can neutralize this one object and wants me to do it manually. So what I'm gonna do is I'll remove this object, delete it manually. We can do that. Can we? Webview.exe is okay. Okay, this thing. So let's delete it. To the recycle bin. Okay, so just to make sure another scan. There you go. It says these are clean. But these are all pieces of malware, so it's missed all this stuff. So that's how band fares. Let's see. Okay, seven files. Total, as I showed you, it was 38. So now we'll do some quick maths. Okay, so there you can see 81.57%. So almost a 96% detection rate. Five. Uh, sorry, seven misses. So that's how Panda did. Not the best detection ratio, I'd say, but yeah, pretty good because these were pretty f fresh malware. So let's see how the other secured suites do. So I'll be back with another secured suite. See you guys then. Welcome back, guys. Uh, on a snapshot that's currently Webroot. Where did it start? Panda. Well, anyway. So we've got 38 pieces of malware. There you go, 38 files, 16.7 MB. Just show you. There we go, these are the same files I used to test Panda. So we're again, we can do the same thing. Right click and scan with Webroot. Let's see how many it gets. Um, there's some problem with the display, as you can see, I can't see the start panel, so, okay, so it's got something. Let me just fix the display, so just a second. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, I've just fixed the display, didn't do anything strange, just the icons have got rearranged. And so, as you saw last time, we found 13 things here. Let's see what these are. Okay, so... Remove them. 
There we go, it's removed everything that's going to do another scan to detect remaining threats. Okay, and it did and said no threats found. So what I'm going to do, okay, let me just show you that web looks fine. There we go. It's the latest version. If you want me to check, I can show that too. Take some time. Okay, there we go. You're using the newest version. Okay, so that's how looks at shown you last time the shields are all on as you can see the firewalls on everything's stock so I've not messed with anything okay so let's do another scan just to be sure Robert's got pretty fast scan okay so that's uh, that's done so it's not telling me to do anything it says that all threats have been removed as you saw it's told and scan so let's see how many it missed. Okay, so it's missed a whole lot here. Much more than Panda. Let's see how many. Um, there you go, 25 files. So let's try running some of them because it's missed quite a lot. Maybe it's cloud. We'll get it when I run it. Hopefully. Okay, let's run some of this stuff. Unfortunately, it looks like everything's gone straight through web. Let's see some process active in memory probably okay, so these aren't opening anymore okay so let's see something suspicious okay there we go that's something so there you go it's gone straight through web root this br.exe this ad control or piece of malware all gone straight through okay so if I one more thing but it's just some adware and probably this thing where to drop some files so it wants to remove that okay but still pretty poor from web root I still see all the files didn't make big difference maybe protect somewhat when I ran them but still 25 files so again let's do the mats and as you saw total is 38 oops uh, minus 25 so 38 okay so just a 34.2 percent that's I've got to say poor I mean most secured sweeps will at least get about 50 to 60 percent I mean this is and there you go look at that Look at that, look. So the malware looked like that's pretty crash web root. There you go, look at that, what it's showing. Instead of showing that security and all that, backup and sync shields over here, it's writing some rubbish like documents and settings, desktop, something like that. As you can see, it did pretty poor. I mean, its detection ratio has to improve. They're looking to, you know, compete and security software so let's get to another machine I think really web root has to improve I mean their net defenses internet security is somewhat okay but detection ratio is poor as you just saw 30% gets you nowhere so let's uh, stop the test here and let me be back I'll be back with uh, another security software so see you guys then yeah it was rising I recall it's rising so I'll be back on the rising machine. Welcome back everybody. I'm on the rising machine and as you can see I've got rising internet security installed over here. I know that rising got pretty bad signatures. Um, I don't I didn't know Webroot had that bad but I know rising does detect many threats but it's got some Trojan defense that helps it do pretty well. So we'll see you can see this rising I've installed it and just show you that it's fully updated there we go okay now okay let's see I guess uh, some updates been released at the last one some time ago so let's wait for it to update here okay Oh, 
hope all this will be fast. I don't think there should be a lot of updates because the last time was I think um, a day ago that I updated. So, okay, let's wait and see. Let me just pause here and I'll be back when this update is done because my network is pretty slow right now. I just want to show you guys one thing that every time you update the program's got to shut down and restart even after every small update most of the updates so that's kind of problematic it doesn't matter we have updated so just to show you guys there you go so now I can show you okay okay so there you go you're using the latest version no need to update so that's fine so as you saw rising fully updated and working there you go all the shields are enabled okay so what I'm gonna do is disable this file monitor and let's grab the files okay so let's extract this okay now okay let's make sure the 38 okay 38 let me just show you there you go these are all the same files and now let's enable the file monitor okay there we go it's saying security state is safe so let's do a right click scan the scan is pretty slow rising takes quite a long time scan there you go so we'll wait for it to scan and I'll be back when the scan is done so see you guys then Welcome back everybody, Ryzen just finished scanning, the scan was painfully slow in it, it's sm such a small folder but it took about let's say 5 minutes to scan it, anyway it finished and it says it's found and neutralized 14 viruses. So let's see, oh, sorry about that, okay so let's see how many files it's got, now we've sk still got 28 files here. So, not great. I mean, it's worse than even per I mean, web root. But as you know, Rising isn't a great, it's hasn't got the best signatures. But just to make sure, let's, uh, you know, it's got some Trojan defense, so it might get some more. So let's try opening some of these like we did in web root. Okay, no response. Okay, so finally something from Rising. There you go. It says it's some malicious process, so we can stop that. But still, I mean, lots of malware running around. It's nothing like. Okay, so delete this one. Trojan, it's found one. It's found one more. Okay, let's stop this. Stop that too. And uh, there you go. So we've got quite a lot of things running in memory here. Open up. Okay, so it's finding a couple of them. So rising uh, Trojan defense does help protect your computer, but not best and certainly not the greatest of defenses. And so I mean, I guess that's that. And so rising. Um, bit exactly almost as much as web root so I don't think there's any point of doing the maths but let's do it we've still got 29 files okay after deleting one or two I guess so even worse than web root as far as you know detection is concerned So just 9 out of 38, that's painfully bad, I guess. So just 23.86, so 
24% detection pretty poor I'd say so that's it for rising rising as I said they have to improve their signatures they've got a good Trojan defense but really the signatures is horrible so see you guys well, on the Komodo machine welcome back everybody this is the Komodo machine and this is the folder there we go we've got 38 files so I'm gonna do a right click scan with Komodo scan is pretty fast so we'll wait see how many it gets okay so it found these four two, four things okay so we'll clean them okay so sorry about that so let's open up and see how many we've got left over here there you go that's block that block that in fact what I did on the Komodo machine just to show you defense plus as you can see I haven't updated it and these threats are like uh, brand brand new so I mean it hasn't got defense and I've disconnected from the internet as well so don't compare this with the others Komodo detection rate would be pretty much better than them I'll do another shot review after this in my next review I'll contain a section I'll have a section with where I'll show you with the signatures but I'm just showing you the defense plus there you go it's sandboxed sandboxed so pretty much uh, the files aren't being able to do much damage to the system there we go we'll block that application isolated so Komodo does a much better job in defending against unknown viruses and about signatures as I said I'm sorry I can't do it right now because I've lost my connection I can't update Komodo so in some other review I'll put a section where I'll scan same malware with Komodo updates so just showed you how Defense Plus works and it's all getting sandboxed so that's uh, I guess that's good for Komodo so hope you guys enjoyed the review have a nice day